Hey, what's up? Uh, welcome to another episode of Ask Kanti. In my previous video, I spoke about people suffering from frustration from their parents forcing them to get married um, and uh, compromising uh, when it comes to choosing a partner. Uh, now, while well, the previous video was all about how do you actually deal with that frustration, uh, how do you convince your parents and so on, I thought I could make another video that would be super helpful for you to evaluate whether you are actually fussy or not. Your parents might be saying that, you know, you're being too picky, you're being too fussy, your expectations are unrealistic, there's nobody like this and so on. Uh, instead of someone else telling you whether you're fussy or not, uh, how great would it be if you could actually find out if you were fussy or not on your own? Okay, so here's a simple activity that I'm going to suggest that you try at home and it's not going to take more than five minutes. Um, so, okay, so there are only four things most people on an average look for in a partner in the marriage market. It is smartness, looks, niceness and confidence. Just four things, simple, like nothing too complicated. I mean, like, your needs seem pretty basic now, right? Like just four things. Now, what I'd like you to do is first ask yourself, along each of these four parameters, where do you stand? Are you above average? Are you below average? Or are you average, right? Um, for example, smartness. Um, are you super intelligent? Um, are you average or are you below average? When it comes to looks and niceness and confidence, Rate yourself along each of the four. Okay, see where you stand. For your position in each of the uh, criteria, give yourself points. Like for example, if you're below average in smartness, give yourself one point. If you're average, give yourself two points. And if you're above average, give yourself three points. That way, give yourself points for each of the uh, four criteria. Okay, now add up all those points. How many points did you get? If you got um, 12 points, uh, fabulous. Uh, I don't know why you're in the market. You shouldn't be in the market. It's it's quite likely that you know, you're know you a window, you've just broken up and that's why you know, you're single and so on. But normally, if you've got 12 points, you won't even be in the market. But let's say you've got six points, um, okay? Y you ask yourself with respect to a partner, what are you expecting? Are you expecting to get a seven pointer? Are you expecting to get an eight pointer? Ask yourself that question. Now, it doesn't matter on what scale you're expecting this. Like, for example, you could be someone who's very intelligent, but you're looking for somebody who's very good looking, although you know you're not very good looking. That's totally fine because the market decides what you can get for what you have, right? I am saying, what are you looking for in terms of value? Are you aiming for someone higher than you? Are you aiming for someone at the same level as you? Or are you aiming for below? This is a very good indicator um, of, of, of your chances of succeeding in the market, right? You will be able to recalibrate based on the simple exercise in terms of what you're looking for in a partner. And once you're able to recalibrate in um, in terms of what you're looking for, you will see that you'll have much more success. But a step before that is you will be able to realize whether, um, you know, uh, you, you, are, you are going out of your league. Now, going out of your league um, is not a terrible thing. But let me assure you that you can only go, go out of your league in the love market, not in the arranged marriage market. Arranged marriage market is all about marriage of equals in some sense right um it, it does not allow you the opportunity to sort of outdo yourself but if you're looking to really outdo yourself the way to do it is to to date get into a relationship with somebody where their perceived value is higher than yours because at the end of the day um in a relationship both of you will have to sort of give up, compromise, find a middle ground that works for both of you. And in the long term, it's not going to feel like you outdid yourself. Okay. But for now, for starters, when you're in the arranged marriage market, um, what you can do is at best aim for somebody in the same league as you. I hope this little exercise was useful. Uh, try it out. Tell me what you think. Um, if you have any feedback or comments, um, you know, leave them below. 
um, I'd love to hear from you.